Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD66-EXB132-K 6x6 HDMI Matrix and Extender Kit. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share six different HDMI media sources with four remote locations up to 130 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or up to 230 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 LAN cable. The product also provides two additional local loopback video outputs here at the primary location that you can extend up to 10 meters away to two additional monitors. Now, if you need to support more input devices or more output devices, there is a larger version of this product available. And because it's a matrix, you have complete control over which of the inputs is sent to which of the outputs, and you can make that selection using the included remote control, the buttons on the front of the unit, or the provided software. The product also includes a set of infrared blasters for each of the remote locations that will collect those remote control signals at that location and send those back over the same LAN connection cable to the primary location so you can actually control the content you're watching. Also, the product has a split matrix function that allows you to send different audio and different video to each of the locations as needed. And finally, the product employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means the minute you plug the transmitter in, all the power required for the remote locations is sent over that same LAN cable, which greatly simplifies your wiring. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you all the components that are included, and then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver modules and explain the connections you'll need to make to use it with your own equipment. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then finally, I'll come back and actually demonstrate right here just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the transmitter module. It's rack mountable. It also has rubber feet on the bottom, which makes it really stable on a surface and it's not gonna scratch anything you put it down on. You'll find four receiver modules. Each of these are exactly the same. Each of them come with an infrared blaster kit and these receiver and transmitter modules are slightly different. You'll notice one has a larger head and one has a smaller head. This is the infrared receiver. This is the infrared transmitter. When you plug these into the back of the remote receivers, you'll want to plug this into the infrared in and this into the infrared out. You'll also find four bracketing kits you can use with the remote receivers to mount them up off the ground and out of the way. You'll find four RS-232 connection blocks, again for the receiver units, and also two for the transmitter unit. You can actually send RS-232 control signals over that same LAN connection, and these connection blocks just make that a little easier to make that connection to the receivers. You'll find three infrared transmitters and four infrared receivers for the primary location. You'll find a connection cable. You can actually control this through software off your computer. This allows you to make a direct connection to a computer. You can also add it to a LAN network. Additionally, you'll find an infrared remote control that allows you to make your selections and configuration decisions from a distance, a warranty card, and a full instruction manual that lists connection diagram specifications and other really important information you'll need to understand about the unit to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver modules, and then I'll do the demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find four remote receivers. Each of these are exactly the same. They feature full metal enclosures, which make them incredibly durable and help to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. On the front of the unit, you'll find a power indicator on the left-hand side. Once power is added to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test. When it completes that, it'll light that LED, letting you know it's ready to use. On the bottom are ventilation slots as well as on the sides. You'll also notice mounting holes right here that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this up off the ground at your remote location and out of the way. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the left-hand side is a DC input port that's used with a power supply or if you're using the main transmitter module, it has power over cable technology. You won't need to use that. Simply plugging the LAN cable in here will provide power for this remote receiver. This is where you'll plug the other end of the LAN cable in from the transmitter. The HDMI output port connects to a local monitor that you can enjoy the content on. To the right of that are two infrared blaster ports, infrared in, infrared out. Again, the larger one will plug in here and the smaller one will plug in there. To the right of that is an RS-232 connection port. You can use the included connection block to make that wiring easy. And then finally on the right, you'll find a service port. It's a micro USB port, and that's used to update the firmware inside the remote receivers if needed down the road as new features and functions come out. You'll simply connect a micro USB cable from here to your computer, push the firmware file over to the remote receiver, and that'll complete the upgrade. The transmitter module for the HDMI matrix was designed with a heavy duty metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and really perfect for any commercial or residential installation. On the front of the unit, 
you'll find two integrated heavy duty brackets on either side that are perfectly positioned to allow you to easily mount this in a standard audio video rack. You'll also find a power button that can be used to turn the unit on and off. When you turn the unit on, you'll find a digital display right here that provides all the information you need to understand about the current state of the matrix. You'll also find a menu button surrounded by four directional buttons. When you tap the menu button, you'll enter the configuration settings. You can use these directional buttons to navigate through the menus to make whatever changes you need to any configuration setting. On the bottom of the unit are four rubber feet that are perfect to keep this up off the surface you set it down on and also protect that surface from scratching. On the one side, you'll find ventilation slots and on the other side, a pair of fans. And they work together to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature during operation. On the rear of the units where you'll make all your connections, starting on the bottom left, are six HDMI ports that are input ports. These connect to whatever media devices you'd like to share the content from with your remote locations, standard HDMI connections. Above that are studs you can use to ground those connections or as strain relief. To the right of that are six output ports. You'll find two full-size HDMI ports. They can be used to connect a local monitor up, up to 10 meters away actually with an HDMI cable so you can enjoy the content here at the transmitter location. Again, two grounding studs and strain relief studs above it. To the right of that are four LAN connections that are used to connect to your remote locations. These are HD base T connections and simply connect one end of the cable here, the other end of the cable to the receiver, and that's the only connection you'll need to the remote location. Again, that has to be a CAT5E, CAT6, or CAT7. To the right of those are RS-232 connections. This unit can actually transmit and receive RS-232 signals as well. That's where you'll make connections here and the same connections on the receiver end. And you can use the connection block that comes with the kit to make that wiring simpler. To the right of that is where you can connect the computer up to actually control this through the provided software. And you have two connections, a DB9 here if you want to do a direct connection to your computer or a standard LAN connection right there. Now we'll look at the top. On the left-hand side are where your infrared blaster kits connect. These are your infrared in connections and your infrared out connections. If you'd like to extend the infrared control of the unit outside of a cabinet, you can plug an infrared receiver in here located outside the cabinet to pick up your remote control signals. To the right of that are your audio inputs. You have two RCA coax connections as well two digital connections right there. And then there are six audio output connections right here as well. Again, you've got a coaxial connection and an analog left and right connection. Finally, you've got a grounding stud for the entire unit and a power port you can use with the included cable to add power as needed. The O-Ray UHD66-EXB132-K is compatible with a wide variety of HDMI media sources, including video cameras, computer systems, media players, streaming devices, and DVD players. The product's features include full support of 4K media content, it provides six inputs and four remote and two local outputs. It is both HDMI 2.0B, HDCP 2.2, and DVI compliant. Its audio support includes LPCM, 2, 5.1, and 7.1 surround sound, Dolby Digital, Dolby True HD, and Dolby Atmos. It provides power over cable technology to greatly simplify the wiring, and also includes software control through a direct connection or over a LAN connection to make your selections. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up five small media players that are all displaying different images to make it easy to tell them apart. I've also set up a Roku player to act as my sixth input to show you the wide variety of media devices the Matrix can support. These are the HDMI media streams that I'd like to distribute to my four remote locations as well as my two local monitors. On either side of me, I've set up four monitors that represent my four remote locations, and these can be 130 feet away for 4K media or up to 230 feet away for 1080p media. In front of me, I've got the transmitter module here and four remote receivers here. Now, the first set of connections I'll make are the media devices to my transmitter, and I've connected up six HDMI cables to those devices and I'll plug these into the HDMI input ports on the back of the transmitter, numbered one through six. And it's very important when you're making this connection that you use as high a quality cable as possible because it can really affect the audio and video quality that you're transmitting to your remote locations. And in some rare cases, it may even affect the distance that you can actually extend those remote locations away from your primary site. Now we're ready to connect up the remote receivers and I have four of these, one for each of the monitors, and I've connected HDMI cables up to the monitors. And these plug into the HDMI output port on the back of each of the receivers. There's the first two, here are the second two. And these are standard HDMI connections 
and again use a high quality cable here. Now the only set of connections we're missing at this point are the LAN cables between the primary site and your remote receivers. They have to be CAT5E, CAT6, or CAT7 cables. And for this demonstration, I've got four CAT6 cables. Now I always recommend using better quality cables than you need today, just in case you decide to upgrade the resolution of the media later on or extend the distance. Uh, so if you're gonna go with a CAT6, try to use a CAT7 if you can. These plug directly into the back of the transmitter into the yellow LAN ports, one in each port. And then the other end of these cables will connect to each of your remote locations on the back of the receiver. There's a LAN connection here that's yellow as well. So I'll plug in one, then I'll plug the second one in, and the same with the other two. Now you'll notice up to this point, I haven't added any power to any of these devices. And that's because this matrix uses a very advanced power over cable technology, which essentially sends the power required for these remote receivers over the same LAN cable that the media is being distributed. So once I plug in the transmitter module, all the power required for these to operate is sent over the same LAN cable. And now we're ready to add power. So I've already plugged the cable in on the floor. This end plugs into the back of the unit. Now the minute I add power to this product, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it's checking the electronics to make sure they're working okay. It's checking the resolution of my media devices, checking the LAN connections. It's distributing power to these units. They're going through a power on self-test, testing the resolution of the monitors. Once all that's done, it's gonna beep. And now it knows that it can see the receivers. It's gonna start distributing content out to those four locations. Now right now I've got one of them on the inputs distributed to all of the outputs at the same time. And you can easily change that, but one of the media devices now is being distributed to all my remote locations. Now normally you'd have this outside of a cabinet, maybe in a rack, but if you wanted to use the remote control, you need to have visibility between the remote and the front of the unit. And if it's inside of a cabinet and you close a door, you're gonna break that connection. So we include an infrared extender that looks like this. It actually plugs right into the back of the unit. So this allows you to locate this inside of a cabinet, close the door, and still be able to use the remote control outside the unit. Now, if I'd like to change one of these outputs, I'll just pick one at random, say three. I'll tap the display first or the output first, and then I'll pick whatever input I want to go there, and I'll change it. And you can see that, whoops, it's changing right there. So it's gonna display whatever's plugged into number three. That's the laptop. If I'd like to change it back, I can hit the all button down here for all the displays and pick any of the inputs to switch it. So let's do that for all of them to go to number three. They're all gonna resync right now, checking the resolution and make sure that they make the adjustments to give you the best possible picture. And there you go, input number three is being sent to all of them. Now, the only thing I haven't tested at this point are the local connections. And I've got a lot of room, uh, not a lot of room on the table. So I've got a small monitor here and I'll plug that into one of the local outputs. And again, this can be up to 10 meters away with a standard HDMI cable. And you'll see that when I plug that in, the transmitter module will actually make the adjustments necessary to send that same display over here. And this can be, again, up to 10 meters away here at the primary location. And it really is just that easy to get it working. And you have a choice of using the remote, the buttons on the front, or the software to control which of the inputs is sent to which of the outputs at any given time. I hope you found this overview of the UHD66-EXB132-K 6x6 HDMI matrix and extender kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to share six different HDMI media streams with four remote locations up to 130 feet away in full 4K ultra high definition resolution or even further up to 230 feet away in full 1080p resolution over a single CAT5e, CAT6, or CAT7 LAN cable. And the inclusion of the infrared blaster kits means each of those remote locations has total control over the content they're watching. The local loopback functionality at the the primary site allows you to extend two additional monitors up to 10 meters away to enjoy the content. The product uses power over cable technology, which greatly simplifies your wiring because the minute you plug the transmitter in, all the power required for the remote locations is sent over the same LAN cable. And finally, the matrix that's included in this kit allows you to completely control both the audio and video that's sent to each of those locations using the remote control, the buttons on the front, or through software control. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.